Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So, we've got a call from the hospital, and Max is going in today to get his gastric nasal tube put in. So, a little recap of what's happened in the last week or so. Last week on Wednesday night, we took Max in uh, to the hospital because we thought he was showing signs of heart failure. So he had a very fast respiratory rate and then he'd have a long pause. Um, he was lethargic, wasn't rousing for a feed, cold extremities, and we were quite concerned about his uh, well-being. So we took him in. Um, he was cleared cardiac-wise, but he had a combination of viruses. So he had mild pneumonia, he had bronchiolitis, he also had rhinovirus, and then also um, adenovirus, which is gastro. And from that, um, they brought forward his video fluoroscopic swallow study. Um, and that was just to see how much he's aspirating while feeding. So that just means while he's feeding, he's getting milk into his lungs, um, not just into his stomach. And obviously that's bad um, because it causes some chest infection and um, all sorts of other complications. Um, so right now, um, I'm heading to the Women's and Children's Hospital. Um, Ellen got the phone call this morning saying that they were gonna book Max in, uh, put his tube in, and then we'll be staying on a ward for a night or two nights while they teach us how to feed him with the gastric nasal tube. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just grabbing a few things because I'll be staying in hospital with him. Uh, the reason why Ellen's not is because uh, she's breastfeeding Leo and Leo can't stay at the hospital because in the room you can only have a patient and one boarder and with Ellen and Leo they'd technically be two boarders. Um, so that's why we're not doing that and I'll be staying in. Um, all right, let's get going. So I've just rocked up here at the Women's and Children's Hospital. Um, Max has been roomed in at Rosewood. And um, so right now, they've put in his nasal gastric tube and um, he's had a feed through that at four o'clock. So him being here is the result of his video fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopic. Appointment yesterday, which showed that he's um, aspirating significantly. So we were told we'd receive a call from our cardiologist this morning to say when, when he's coming in. And um, we had a call today to say, be here at two o'clock. And so I've been here with the boys since two o'clock. Um, they've been doing the observations and then they put the nasogastric tube in. They put it in once and then he sneezed it out and they've had to put it in again, um, which isn't very good. Because it's quite traumatic to watch it have, uh, watch him have it put in. So speaking to the doctor, um, she said that we should expect months, as I guess how long he'll be on it. Um, it's going to be a while. Um, the speech pathologist said that often with heart babies that they've got so much going on with the heart condition that they tire very easily with feeds so they become very um, lazy with feeding and that causes them um, to I guess not develop the ability to um, feed swallow suck properly. Uh, tomorrow uh, cardiology and ENT will come around and check on him so if there is a physical cause um, they'll look into rolling like fixing it I suppose yeah. um, but by the sounds of things it sounds like it might be more due to his heart condition and the time spent in hospital um, and where he was when, on the nasal gastric tube and um, it might have prevented him from developing the skill properly. 
This is something that they said that he will um, learn in due time, but at the moment he hasn't um, learned how to coordinate his sucking and his swallowing mm -hmm. uh, properly yet. And um, at the moment with him being under two years of age, um, his lungs are still developing, so um, we want to prevent any kind of fluids um, going into the lungs because that can damage them at this age. So that's my first night done here at uh, the Rose Ward and um, I'm quite happy that we're here on the Rose Ward because you know being here for two weeks beforehand we're just so comfortable here. Another thing that is kind of nice is that we're a little bit further down the hallway. Uh, last time we stayed here we were just opposite the nurses station and um, they can be quite chatty overnight. So this is one of the downfalls about having a room right across from the nurses station. So sometimes they're like that all night. Uh, but last night, just being a little bit further down, it was a little bit quieter, which was really, really nice. I've done Max's feeds overnight. So Max fed 10, 1, 4, and 7 in the morning. And uh, the time now is roughly about quarter to 9. Ellen will be here soon. And um, yeah, she'll have her hand at uh, trying to feed Max for the first time herself, which would be good because I know that she's keen to learn. In the way of tube feeding, I'm very confident in doing it. Um, I did a lot of this uh, while we're here the first time and also in Melbourne and doing it today, uh, no different. Um, one thing to note that um, Max did have his first um, formula feed uh, today at um, 4 and 7 and um, since about 5 o'clock he has been quite irritable um, I don't know if that's because he's on the formula uh, but notice a significant um, difference since about 5 I've just had to hold him and just kind of you know rock him and and just you know get him to sleep so that's the end of the video today. So if you're pregnant, pregnant with twins, have twins. If you're a parent of a heart kid or you're interested to see what we have going on, look out for the upcoming videos. Better yet, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to donate to Heart Kids, we'll have the link in the description below. Thank you for making it to the end of the video and we'll see you in the next one.